I would like to thank the IFBB Pro for this award. It just came with the house I rented. The universe has a plan. Got jumped by three roid heads for using a machine they wanted. If it was the bicep curl machine, then you had it coming. The symptoms of being smacked by three roid heads are apparently dancing like Justin Timberlake. Those are symptoms you never want. So that was a 20 second clip filmed in an accident and emergency room. You're gonna have to find another way to fill four hours of your time to see a doctor in the UK, sir. Roid Rage at 7-Eleven. <laughs> That wasn't Roy Rage, he was just disappointed by the ending of Game of Thrones. He did, however, make sure that he hit depth in his squats. Respect. And Roy Rage doesn't discriminate. Shut up and do it! It happens outside the gym also because the world is my gym and all that. Fing sad I am, bitch. Walk away. I just love the fact that he's showing what a big boy he is whilst driving the most floppy car I've ever seen. Wanna know how to decrease your testosterone instantly? Just buy one of those. You're not gonna do a goddamn deal. Crush all of you. When a picture says a thousand words, man picks a fight with a man twice his size in the gym and it ends badly for him. Who wins the street fight, me or you? I kill you. <laughs> Until I can remember, I was fighting kids on the street. That was pro fighter Cheeto Vera. Just for. But not bigger guys, like not like guys like me. Proving that roids maybe don't make you rage. <laughs> They just make you delusional. Bradley Martin is the latest juiced up influencer who apparently thinks he's a fighter, cringeworthingly punching another dude who also clearly can't fight in his zoo culture gym, thinking he's the second coming of Marvin Hagler. <laughs> and actual fighters are saying they would beat him up. They are correct. Look at this kind of sparring thing that's going on. He's like the kid in PE class that takes dodgeball way too seriously. The last time I saw swinging like that was the Masters Golf. What happens to these guys? At what level of fame do they turn into Justin Bieber urinating over his fans from his balcony? Now. If this was in a street fight, the thing about Bradley is he can hit you with the earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he can literally pick you up and, and you're going to you. hit the earth with, what does he weigh, 270? Pretty funny and not surprised to see Kenny saying that size doesn't matter. He should just stick to the textbook dips. Yo, dude, come on, man. He rudely interrupted her video. Is a metabolism killer. If that was a bowl of cereal, I would have had the best killer joke ever. A plate of cookies with a portion size for an elephant isn't the best example, Vincente. This is the moment an airport security worker was caught allegedly swallowing $300 worth of cash. Just feed her my cooking, it'll come out immediately. The money came from a passenger who had the money in a shoulder bag that had been given to a security worker to put through the x-ray scanner. Imagine if it was 3,000. Excuse me, ma'am, I might miss my flight. One minute, sir. Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, nom, nom. Welcome to Roid Rage Sports Science. <laughs> To be fair, that was a pretty efficient way to re-rack the barbell. Not sure that's what Bruce Lee meant by flow like water. Eight, nine, ten. Right onto squats. You call that roid rage eruption? Introducing fitness superstar and million TikTok followers influencer Jessica. She's on some powerful pre-workout. Not big boys, because that has $60 of prop blend dishwater that he's selling. Go to strengthcartel.com and get yours right now. The real deal pump clearly works for the strength cartel. How to underdose key ingredients in one simple step. I can't believe that people still buy supplements from these guys. Plenty of roids with that guy. Not so much rage, actually. Just knuckle up like a man and squash it, but he was too much of a to do it, dog. It's all fake drama for his social media pages. Big Boy and Strength Cartel get attacked at commercial gym. No, they didn't. Bodybuilder Big Boy, I'm gonna knock Tito Ortiz out. Retire his ass. He's been retired for about 10 years, mate. Where was I? Right, shut up. As chad as I can get. Not very chad, is it? I think he's just jealous because I get a lot of attention. <laughs> I want to start with research into roid rage hamsters. I bet you didn't see that coming. And so this research lab put hamsters on roids and did find an increase in aggression, which continued into adulthood. How did they test aggression? They put them into cages to fight. Bradley Martin's down. How would you kill me? Bro. Autopsies revealed their brains had changed. The anterior hypothalamus known to regulate aggression pumped out more of a neurotransmitter called vasopressin. Steroids step on the gas for aggression by enhancing the activity of brain areas 
that induce aggression, Maloney said. I know what you're thinking. How do the brains of juiced up hamsters relate to fitness influencers? Do I even need to answer that question? Introducing two guys, one bench. What could go wrong? Planet fitness brawl over bench. Here are some screen grabs of this guy who lands four or five punches to the other guy's face, strangles him, pushes him into a machine and then sends him to the floor. <laughs> and the amazing thing about that is the lung alarm didn't go off. Deadlift in Planet Fitness and it sounds like World War II in there. Punch a guy repeatedly in the face. Go about your business, sir. Have a good day. Overall harm of selected drugs. Blue is harm to the user. Orange harm to others. Source Nutatel. A laundry list of substances there. Or what Larry Wills calls a casual Friday night. In last place, people on mushrooms minding their own business whilst delving into the depths of their soul and waking up chewing on their finger. And so Royds is fairly low down on the list. Not much harm to others. We have mixed data. And if indeed Royds do contribute to aggression, it would be hard to attribute that as the root cause and would be in rare cases. We have older research such as Tricker et al. 1996, which did not find a connection between roid use and aggression. We then have Lundholm et al. 2014, who conducted quite a significant study. 10,365 men were part of a survey, a very large sample size, but remember that surveys are not a perfect data collection system. The disadvantage to surveys are basically, well, people can choose not to tell the truth, but they found that our results suggest that it was not lifetime roid use per se, but rather co-occurring polysubstance abuse that most parsimoniously explains the relatively strong association of roid use and interpersonal violence. And so essentially any gym confrontation involving a big guy is labeled as roid rage. <laughs> But in reality, it's problematic to establish that as the root cause. It is fun though. Gym rule number one, never touch another person's weight whilst they're lifting. Don't ever put hands on someone's weight while lifting, please. I'm not sure why this guy's interrupting his set, but here's a life lesson. Never trust a guy who wears shorts with leggings in the gym. In this week's I Just Want to Train Nipple Day, bro. As a gym manager, he probably can. Okay, what's up? At least put some Jesse James West nipple covers on. The body paint assistant is not included. Thank you for watching the last video and thank you for always for taking the time to comment. <laughs> the mass monster replied to me. The guys way back when they were doing the Olympic press were dang beat bending over in half and they were all fine. I will concede that he knows more about powerlifting than me. Just, nope, just joking. He's funny and clearly elite at what he does. Maybe his back won't turn into mashed potato, but his enemies will with combinations like that. I can see him doing well on social media. Unlike this superstar. Let me set the scene for you. You've done everything right. You've bought your child size Gymshark merch. You've learned how to hashtag, set up your camera perfectly on the gym floor. And then an idiot does this. Plus he had the worst form training direct in front of me. It took everything in me to not correct him. It took nothing at all for me to want to correct you. By correcting him, you mean possibly helping him. I for one am stunned that she has not found fame as an international fitness influencer because never before has the world seen someone doing leg extensions. Out of interest, if he didn't walk in front of your camera, what were you expecting to happen? Were you imagining red carpets and screaming fans at your window? To be fair, that is an incredible time under tension. Watching that video, don't be this guy. See you soon. <laughs>